So here is my massive Hoya Skinneriana, and recently it's been trying to push out growth, but as you can see, it's just not there. It's kind of floppy. I don't know, there's some weird veination on it that's normally not there. And I've tried fertilizing it, increasing water, reducing water. It's not really doing anything. And here are the leaves. This is what they're supposed to look like. They're nice and plump and rigid and shiny. It's also trying to put out this vine over here. And you can see the leaves at the base aren't really that big like they're supposed to be. The vine is just also really hard and rigid. I don't remember it being like this when it last put out new growth. So I need to get this out of its pot. And as you can see, the pot is kind of bowed out. And there's no way I'm going to get this out unless I really mangle the roots. So what I'm going to do is just break it out. So I added more soil to the top of this pot earlier in the year. And as you can see, the roots just have erupted out of it since then. And they're looking for more soil. So that's why I'm going to repot it. Okay, so hopefully the wind doesn't knock over my camera. Because it's on a really makeshift stand of a pot and a table that has an umbrella on it. So we're going to break this out. Um, I don't know why I have these. You know, maybe I'd like to be a hand model someday. I'd like to keep my options open. You know, you can't blame a guy for doing that. Without further ado, we're going to break this pot. Okay, ready? I'm really nervous. This is really pop bound. As you can see, this is how you want your Hoyas when you, no, actually this is a little bit too much. So uh, yeah, so let's get to repotting this. Stay. My dog training skills come in handy. And by training, I mean, I taught my dog how to sit and uh, he barely does that anyways. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. So I have my tried and true mix of Perlite and miracle Grow. I put that on everything. Should look like this. That's what that is potted in. So if you're wondering, that's what it's in. Uh, it's not really in that anymore because it's all roots. So I'm just going to pre-moisten it to help the water permeate because heat-based potting mixes tend to be difficult to moisten. I just kind of set this to... I'm great at making masses. Now this pot isn't huge, huge. I generally just do it a few inches larger when I'm up potting. That's what I do for Hoyas. It's a bit deeper too, but this is really pot bound, so it's gonna appreciate it. And it's a relatively fast growing Hoya too. It's not like Hoya Serpens or something where if you put it in a giant pot, it's gonna take like five years to fill it out. If it fills it out and doesn't rot first. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like more Hoya related content, let me know in the comments down below. Clearly I can grow Hoyas, I think or this was just a happy accident, probably the latter. It's really hot and sunny. I'm glad I put on SPF. Gotta keep it cute. Anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button, comment what you wanna comment, tell me what you wanna see, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, uh, and subscribe if you wanna make my day and you like my content and you'd like to see more. So um, that's about it. Thank you so much and goodbye.